unmute myself. Sorry. <laughs> Trying to do all this. And, oh, didn't want to do that. Okay. All right, folks, it is time to waggle. Get your pom poms out. It is time to celebrate and be a star. like Saturday morning calisthenics. <laughs> This is how we start rallies, how we start jubilee. It helps you get pumped up and excited. Because we're in the party business, people. And you should have a smile on your face and have a great time. We are ready to go. We are pumped. We are having a great time this morning. Good morning, be a star and adventures wait. Um, it is time for our weekly waggle. I hope that you are guys are excited for the week coming and um <clears throat> we're just gonna get ready to get pumped, have a great week ahead of us, and celebrate the last week that we just had. And um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. This is gonna be super, super, super quick because as you can see, I am getting ready for a party this afternoon and I'm basically taking you with me um, to help you get ready for your parties as well to see kind of some of the things that I bring along with me. Um, but first and foremost, we always, always, always start our uh, weekly waggle with some celebration. Um, and so I'm super excited about that. Let me pull up my reports here. Um, while I'm doing that, I want to introduce myself. If you've never met me, my name is Connie Welcher, and I am the top line manager of the Be A Star Tupperware unit, and that includes the Adventure Awaits unit as well. So welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're brand new to us or if you haven't um, hopped on to a waggle before, um, just to kind of give you an idea, uh, uh, understanding of what a weekly waggle is, you're like, what in the world have I gotten into, right? Um, it's just a fun way to say a weekly unit meeting, right? Um, but basically, because our name is B, as in bzzz, be a star, uh, as in bumblebees, um, and bees inside the hunt beehive. They, they can't talk to each other, right? So they do like a dance um, that tells the other bees where they have found, you know, a cache of food, where um, something awesome is going on. And based on the times that they do this figure eight dance and the direction that they are facing when they waggle, the other bees can then tell where it is and they can go and take advantage of what this one bee um, came across. And so that's what our weekly waggle is all about. It's about telling, it's about sharing um, where the good stuff is, sharing great tips, sharing some awesome events, 
uh, sharing our weekly wins with each other, sharing our goals with each other. It's about us building us up and building our hive up and building each other up. And so um, every Saturday morning, 11 o'clock central time, whatever time that is for you, um, I'll be here on Zoom, on our B-Star Zoom, and um, I will repost this Zoom link in the comments uh, because I want to make sure that you are joining us live and um, because it's better when we're together. We are better together, right? Um, T team stands for Together Everyone Achieves More, and that's what I want for you. I want more for you right? Because um, I believe in the party, I believe in Tupperware, and I'm excited that you're part of our success team, and I'm excited to be part of your success story. So let, without further ado, let's grab our pom-poms. Let's celebrate our tops for the week. Folks, we've got one more week left of May birthday month. What? Where did that go, right? Was that just like, boom, just like, blow by? I remember we were talking about, oh, we've got five weeks, right? Blew by, all right. And I'm I'm on the back end of it too. I'm trying to do some catch up too. So if you're doing catch up this week, trying to reach those goals, those last goals, do not give up. We've got plenty of time. You just need to hunker down, start working now. And um, you can you can reach them. If you really wanna, if you've got the gotta wanna, you can do it. You absolutely can. Um, so let's go ahead and get some sparkles. To all of you, thank you guys so much for being part of the amazing BSR team. And um, we are going to give our sparkle to our tops in sales for the week, um, starting with our consultants. Consultant is anybody who has an active or an open account, because it can be an active on our team, um, but an open account who has um, not recruited anybody underneath them. Okay, so that's you're at the consultant level. You're rocking the consultant level. You're enjoying your um, your Tupperware access and um, uh, your discount. And you know, of course, right? All right. So number one in consultant sales for the week was Jessica Abel. Jessica, woohoo! She's on the Adventure Awaits unit. Woo! And as we grow. Um, we're probably going to start separating those two units out so that you get even more chances to get sparkle. Right? There's two different units. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, in the number one spot for our LITs, and those are our leaders in training. Those are our, our um, consultants who um, are still at the consultant level, but who have shared the opportunity with one or more other consultants underneath them but have not yet stepped up to the manager level, all right? And so number one in our LIT um, level is Candy Hagri. Woo, Candy! All right, rocking it, rocking it, rocking it. Give her some sparkle. And last but never least is our manager level. Now, a manager is a consultant who has um, shared the opportunity with three or more direct recruits underneath her. Um, and underneath her, three levels deep, it could be as many as, as you know, happens, but she herself, or he, um, they themselves have recruited at least three and have three active directly underneath them. Level one is what we call them. Um, and she, or they, we'll say they, have um, submitted $500 in personal sales for the month, and then the entire unit, three levels deep, so consultant, recruits, and two more underneath, um, have all submitted $3,000 for the month that that consultant will step up to what we call manager. And what that means is you get some perks, you get some benefits, you get some bonuses, just get more um, for working the same amount. But we always like to celebrate our manager's personal sales because you make the most off of your own personal work. All right. Yes. Do you get a bonus for bringing people in and stepping up to manager? Absolutely. But at the bottom line is you have to do the work yourself too. You have to keep up, um, a certain level as well. 
and you make more money based on your own personal work and sales. So um, our top number one in manager sales is Serena Singer. Woo! Serena is rocking it. She is just about to break that $1,500 level uh, for the month, and that means she is going to earn her personal sales volume bonus. Plus, she's going to earn her Vanguard bonus when her unit makes their goal. And then plus, as the leader of that unit, she's also going to um, get her um, her Party Plus bonus, which are, is it a Party Plus bonus? I think it's her Party Plus bonus. Um, and that is with a 2% bonus on top of all of the sales of her manager unit. So it pays to step up to manager folks. It pays to help spread the opportunity and spread the love and spread the joy um, to those, to other individuals. It help. it pays to mentor those individuals into success. It pays to party. So, and I know that she definitely is. She is partying. She is doing events. She's out there. She is working her business. Um, so if you're sitting back going, wow, you know, it must be great. It must be awesome, you know, that she's making it. Well, she's working it. She's going out and she's getting it. She's going out and she's doing what it takes to hit the goals that she makes. So, oh, I got to write that down. Um, so ask yourself today, are you doing what it takes? I got to ask myself the same thing. Am I doing what it takes? Sometimes I can say no. Sometimes no. I can absolutely say Today, I'm going to party, party, and we are going to talk about uh, party sales. Just some quick updates um, on your calendar. Grab your calendar. Um, let's see. Monday morning is our Sparkle Zoom, which is some personal training with our business leader, Stephanie Garber, and the director team. Um, it is at uh, nine, 10 a.m. Pacific time, so noon um, central time figure out what that time is for you and excuse me that's monday morning tuesday we have tuesday evening we have available um is the um celebrate for celebrate cooking with tupperware our cooking um social we would really like to build that with all of you so we're going to start talking about maybe where we need to move that to at a different time slot or a different date um, because we really want to engage more of you in that it's more of a us type team building. Um, Wednesday, circle this date in your book in big red Sharpie. Wednesday is the last day of birthday month. It is the last day for sales. It is the last day for our May birthday month catalog or our sales brochure. It's the last day for you to earn the party perks for May. It's the last day, okay? Um, so you want to circle that, and I would say, tell yourself, get in your mindset of Tuesday being your last day. That way, if you have any snags or upsets, you've got all of Wednesday to work on it. But when you have Wednesday, remember, things are going to get slowed down because everybody's closing out. Um, so plan to close early. Plan to close early. Can you guys see the sky in my eye? It's just really awful today. Okay, and yes, I have a sty in my eye. I woke up with a sty in my eye and half of my my face kind of swollen and I'm still going to go to my party because there's nothing better to make you feel better than going to a party. Okay, so that's on your week and then Thursday is going to be our VIP night with, with Razzmatazz where we're going to be celebrating all of May. We're going to be kicking off something really special. So you're definitely going to want to be there uh, because we're going to be kicking out something really awesome, really special, and you don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. Okay. Okay. All right. My face is super swollen. Okay. Um, let's chat really fast about going to a party. We're going to have a party. Oh, Rod Stewart. We're having a party. Okay. Um. I am prepping for my party this morning. And that means updating my party packets. Now, there's a couple things that I do. Um, I have two different types of party packets. First one is in actual 
party bags because this is a live party. Uh, yes, I am doing a live party, <laughs> folks. Um, so our actual party bags, and those ones are prepped and ready to go for live party bookings. Okay. And I have these fun plastic ones. These are, and sometimes I even just do um, these because, you know, I might not get these back. Um, and, or actually these I put in the party bag so that they can take them around with them. And then my basic ones I prep in little plastic, okay? Um, because I want to get these back. I'll get these back at the party. So anyway, what do I put in my party packets? What's in our party packet? Okay, you need to put in your party packets everything that your host needs to have a successful party. All right, everything that she needs and all the information she needs to party with you. So first and foremost, she needs to know what she's getting, what's in it for her. So print out a post reward um, sheet. All right. Or no, this is wrong. This is not it. That's not that. That is this. There it is. Post reward sheet. Okay. This is for June. Post reward sheet. I like to use the one that's got the uh, like the thermometer kind of thing, the running tally on here. So that she can put this on her refrigerator. She can see exactly what she's going to earn. She can start filling in her sales and she can see where she's at. She can start like, coloring it in, like really kind of fun and make it exciting. And you want to tell her to do that. You want to tell her, hey, you know what? This is what I want you to do. I want you to go and I want you to put this on your refrigerator. And every time that you get an advanced order, I want you to start filling it in. So that you know where you're at, because this is your goal up here, right? And we want to get to your different levels so that you earn your different post rewards, okay? And I'm going to check in with you to see where we're at. I want you to write in your shopping spree. What are things that you would really like? What's on your wish list? Write it in here. This is for their, this is their wish list, okay? What do you want to get for your half price items? Write it in, all right? Okay, so this is in there. Um, then what else is in there? I have a checklist for her. I know you're like, uh, I have a checklist, day to day checklist. So she's going to write in when is her demo date and what is the close date? Because those dates are, are important. Okay. Um, and this one's for Facebook, but the other one that I have is very similar to it um, for regular parties. Um, well, let me make it one for regular parties. I want to show that one to you because it's it is really helpful. For your host, and we'll I you can download it um, on it's on our Facebook group, but I just want to make sure that you can see it because it's really awesome. Okay, so this is our planner. You see that, and it's got space over on the side. It's got the checklist, day to day checklist. Fill out your wish list. Uh, personally invite your attend list. Hand out your catalogs and collect orders from people. Post an email, post email, text online, link um, your online shopping list. And um, let's create a Facebook group or a Facebook event if this is a live party, right? Um, and then gather your grocery list. So you want to determine with her, okay, what are we demoing at your party? What groceries do you need to get this and when i say you i mean her your host what groceries does your host need to get because this is her party so she's gonna have some skin in the game right so she's gonna have to go grocery shopping for the ingredients of your party okay um and then the day of the party remember to text a reminder to everybody in your party 
Um, today's the day. Text a reminder to your online shoppers to remind them to shop. So anybody who she invited who was not going to be able to attend, remember to text them. You want to communicate with them because you want them to still place an order, right? Um, and then her, her delivery order. She's got a place to put her wish list information down here, um, what her totals are, what she earned. And you can fill this out with her, okay? Um, and what I would say is at, after the party, this is what you're going to be taking home, okay? But on this side here, it gives her more information. Six to ten people that she wants to invite, okay? Six to ten people that she wants to invite to actually be in her party. Now, I would tell her that she needs to invite at least 20. These are the people that say that, yes, they're coming, all right? Um, these are the people who you, she'll select orders from, all right? So people who may be at her work who said, oh, they can't go, but they would like to place an order with her. She can collect the order. This is who she can collect the order from. These are the people that maybe um, don't live close to her. So they're going to shop online, buy people here, all right? This is for her to be able to keep track of those people and be able to reach back out to those people and communicate with them so that she has a successful party. If she does all of these steps, she's going to have a successful party. If she personally invites double the amount of people that she wants there, which is 10. So if she personally invites 20 to 25 people. If she personally has six to 10 people who are going to be attending. If she personally has five advanced orders. All right. Um, if she personally has five more people place an order online. She's going to have an amazing party because that's out of 10 that's already, you know, on average a $400 party, just these two alone. Okay. So this helps your host have a successful party and you need to impart on her and say, Hey, if you do everything on this list, I promise you, you are going to have a successful party. You're going to get free Tupperware. Okay. And in the end, right, that's really the, the what people are looking forward to, right? Is earning free Tupperware. Okay, so that one is for lives. Facebook is, is very similar, um, but obviously it doesn't have like who's gonna attend, who's going to, um, well, it does have who's gonna attend, but what it doesn't have is like the shopping or anything like that, but it does help them like post this on this day, right? Post this on this day, connect with people who are gonna attend, um who's going to shop online and uh, with facebook parties everybody's shopping online but but um and then she can keep a list of who's ordered from her so that she can follow up with them um uh, and then again the same thing you know now down here there's a line for bookings and it says um friends that want to hold their own party and it's got two lines and the that's important because to qualify for their host gift specials, the host has to have two bookings on her party, um, plus the sales, all right? But it's also important to you because you want to build your business. So always go into your parties looking for two, at the very least, right? Me personally, I plan for six at every single party, at every single party. And I will keep pushing until we have at least three because and when i have three i tell her i will give her an extra special gift if she has three bookings for her party i'll give her an extra special gift okay um okay so those are a couple of things that i have host i've got my checklist now let's make it fun for her let's make it some fun let's give her some fun i give her a tic-tac-toe board <laughs> tic-tac-toe board i mean there's a bunch of different ones you, and this one is just the steps to the party. This one is from Cheryl um, Smith, and it's a lot of fun. And it, it just helps her come up with ways or come up with um, ways to succeed, right? And she gets to earn small gifts every time that she gets a tic-tac-toe. So she earns three, achieves three tic-tac-toes, um, or she doesn't have to be, a, um, it doesn't have to be a tic-tac-toe. She just has to cover the squares. So cover three squares, and you're going to get a gift for me. Cover six squares, you're going to get another gift for me. Cover all nine squares, and you're going to get a, the, a, a mega gift for me. Now, look at some of those squares. What do they say? They say, have a 
join my team when you want to build your team, right? Have two bookings. Hold on the original date. That's so that she's not bouncing around in your calendar and you're in control of your time. Have seven or ten guests. Invite everybody personally. Have $1,000 in personal sales. Have $100 before your, your party. This is a fun way to get her to do what you want her to do to have a successful party. And you gift her small things. Uh, now it could be some tiny treasures. It could be, you know, um, a product of four that you have, maybe like a tumbler set or a bowl set um, or the spice shakers. Spice shakers are always fun. Do that this way. They get one spice shaker um, every time. Like, so they get one spice shaker for holding the party. They get one spice shaker um, every time they get their, their tic-tac-toes, right? Until they get three. Or I do it if every time they get a booking, I give them another spice shaker so that they can get all four, that type of thing. All right. You want to get outside of her circle of friends. You don't want to get into, like, Sally Sue booked a party, and uh, Pam and Virginia, they both booked a party from Sally Sue, but they just invite the same people that were at Sally Sue's parties. Um, you want to get outside of that, that party circle. So you want her inviting a bunch of different people from a bunch of different walks of life, from a bunch of different areas in her life. So get put her on a guest scavenger hunt, all right? Uh, how many can you invite? Someone who works at a salon. Does she go get her hair done? Does she know somebody who does? Uh, somebody who owns a dog. Somebody who bakes cakes. Invite a personal neighbor in the neighborhood. I don't know how many times I've gone to parties where they didn't invite anybody who's actually in the neighborhood, right? It's like, that's a party. Bring everybody. Everybody needs to, to know about Tupperware. Okay. Somebody who likes camping, who owns their business, just a bunch of different things. And uh, who lives 10 miles away. That one is a really important key because it gets them out of that town. It gets you in a whole nother circle of people, right? A whole nother neighborhood. So this is a lot of fun to put in there. Here's a bunch of different um, scavenger hunts. So this one is going to be you can use this one. You could also use the guest who's RSVP by Amanda Todd. Um, that's another fun one. And but it's just a fun way to get things going. I put in two catalogs because I know that she's already got one because she's been at the party, right? I put in two catalogs. I put in two sales flyers of the upcoming. So this one's for June because we're rolling into a new month and I don't have the actual sales flyers yet. So, but that's okay. You can print off you know, back to back of the sales flyer, or you can print off the one page that Tina Logan creates. So um, if I want her to get some ad advanced orders, she needs catalogs, she needs sales flyers, she needs uh, order forms that you can get from Tupperware now, or you can just print them off, okay? Um, I also put in her a how to total the order because you assume that she knows how, not everybody does. Okay, so it gives her the step-by-step -step of how to total the order, the shipping costs down here. And in number six, I tell her to take a clear picture of the order form and send it to me. A clear picture so that I can see all of the information and the credit card information, okay? I highlight... The credit card information, I highlight the, the expiration date and the CV number and the postal code because those are important. You don't want to have to go back and get that information, but you can. But I highlight, you know, I need all of this information and I need this information to place the orders, right? And I put those together. And then last but not least, I have a fun keychain. Um, I like to give the um, little supersonic chopper keychains, but um, I know they're, they might not be available right now. Basically, what I tell her, I'm like, if you have a $1,000 party, I will supersize. Or if you have a $500 party, when you have a $500 party, I will supersize your keychain, which means I will play, she will earn this from me as a gift, as a thank you. Okay. Um, or it could be the big prize that she gets by having all nine of her squares covered, right? That's a $1,000 party. You're making $250 off of it, and you've got somebody joining your team. 
you can afford to gift her a supersonic chopper, right? Um, the the mini is the one I do, the compact, um, especially if she has joined the team and chosen the deluxe demo kit. I just give her the small compact to go along with her demo kit, right? Yay. And then last but not least, I put in information about recruiting. Um, this is a, if you had $1,000 a month, what would you do with it? And um, when I seal this up, I leave them open when my party packs because monthly they change, right? So I'm always going to change them out. Um, and then when I seal them up, I put a sticker on the outside. That says, warning, opening this envelope could change your life. Okay. And in it, I have 60 days that could change your life. And it says, give up a word try for 60 days. Here's the first option. I'm having some, at the end of 60 days, we will have a real quack chat. And I want to find out one of these three things from you. Um, option number one, I'm having so much fun with my party business. I love the income, the flexibility of my schedule. And I want to fill my date book and learn more about growing my business. Okay? That gives you the opportunity to step up for training. All right. That tells you, I'm like, okay, yeah. Uh, option number two, I've had a lot of fun. I made some extra money. I want to continue by holding just one party a month and sell it to my friends and family to keep my account active. That lets you know that you want to work with her to do maybe like a mega party once a month for her um, or to, that she wants to be a personal shopper and that you want to help her um, just do that one party a month, right? Okay, and then the option number three is I've had a blast. I've always wanted to try something like this, and I'm so glad that I did. But I would rather purchase um, a few items and then go back to being a happy host in your date book. Um, I love having my friends over and would love to have a Tupperware, have Tupperware parties with you in the future. Okay, and so that and that's fine. Tupperware isn't for everybody, but it is for everybody to try. Um, this gives her uh, why Tupperware, why now? Gives her some of the reasons why uh, she should join Tupperware today, um, whether it's for career flexibility, extra income, the earth love, the savings. Here's the answers to the four questions that are normally asked from Tupperware, um, from people thinking about Tupperware, and that is... Um, Let's see here. How much does it take? How much time? How much money can I make? Uh, how much does it cost to get started? And how do I get started? Okay, we hold a grand party, and yeah. How much do I? How much does it cost to get started? Choose your best fit from the kit options and make one of the investments. And then I give her the information on the kit options. It's really that simple. Okay, um, and then um, I would follow up on her, follow up to see if she opened that. Like when you follow up the next day after you booked the party, say, hey, Sally Sue, I'm so excited that we're gonna get the party together. I had so much fun with you at uh, Amanda's party and I cannot wait to spoil you with some free, free and half price Tupperware. Um, I wanted to ask you real quick, party pack did you see that envelope did you by chance have a chance to open that envelope yeah no so yes great can, is, do you have any questions about that i would love to uh, set up a time where maybe you and i can just go out to coffee my treat and i can answer any of your questions and tell you a little bit more about it um do, what were your questions about that you know or or just ask her uh, open-ended questions about what she thought about what's going on um, and if it wasn't for her, ask her, well, you know, before we, we go on, do you know any, do you might know anyone um, in your life who might be interested in learning more about it? I'd love, to, I will I'd give you a gift if you would introduce us. All right. Um, that helps you get a referral. Now, if she says, no, she didn't open it. She's like, no, I get it. I get it. We're all, we're all busy. We're all busy. Um, but could you do me a favor? Could you text me when you do? because um, I would love to tell you about something new in the envelope that I wasn't able to put in the envelope, okay? 
Um, and something new that's in the envelope is her post and join us, right? Um, because she might go, oh, you know what? I just, I can't budget that right now. That's okay. You can do it for free. Would free be in your budget? Right? When somebody ever tells you that A, Tupperware is, is too expensive for you or B, hosting a party um, would take too much time, just tell them, you know, like, that's okay. I totally get it. Unstrap myself. Would free be in your budget though? Because I would love to show you how. All right. Um, so that's what I put in my party pack. Like I said, I put it in like a little trinket. Sometimes um, when I'm doing Facebook parties, I like to add a couple other things to the packet because those people aren't going to be live, right? So I add like um, three or five, um, uh, what are these, citrus peelers, and I tell her to give them to those people who place orders um, as a thank you. And just, you know, it's just kind of to help build. Um, and then last but not least, I have my party file connected with it all right and this helps me this checklist kind of mirrors her checklist it helps me follow up so i've got a file system monday th a weekly file system on this side a monthly file system on that way side and this goes in there with her name across the top um and her information and then i put it in my file and i'm able to go through it and keep track of my parties um it's got all the information as far as where, when, time, how, who, what we're going to be doing, what we're demoing, and um, um, what else does it have on here? It just helps me keep track of it all, okay? And then um, the last thing I always have is a thank you card ready to go with a stamp on it so that when I leave that party, I can I can immediately fill out the thank you card um, I'm going to date it. I'm mean, going to, you know, fill it in, drop it in the mail as I leave that party. Um, that way she gets it in at least the next day, if not the day after, um, so that she, it keeps it in her brain that, oh yeah, I'm having a party. We're going to have a great time. Right. Follow up within 48 hours with a phone call, um, just to solidify everything, um, set up a time that you can like have a little quick chat so that you can go over everything, um, again, because you really kind of want to briefly go over it at the party and then set up a more in-depth time to get really into it and get her really excited. Um, so I hope that I know that's like, like, Oh, rambling, 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 rambling. Right. So go back, watch the recording again. Um, and like I said, these, um, the different forms are available in our Facebook group, in our VSTAR Facebook group, and also in the Rasmataz Facebook group. So you can find them and um, figure out what works best for you. Now, last thing I'm going to say before I let you go is if you're like, wow, this was amazing. I want more training on how to do this. You need to attend the Thursday night VIP rally because the, um, I'm letting you in a big secret. Stephanie is going to be announcing something super exciting and you want to be a part of it, okay? So I'm hoping that you guys have an amazing Saturday. I have a great last week of May birthday month and I will see you next week um, for our um, end of month weekly rally. And for all of you LITs managers above, um, we will be getting lit. Um, right after our weekly waggle, you're personally invited to join that um, if you're LIT or manager um, for some extra special swag. So I will see you guys then. And um, again, be the star that I know you are and have an amazing week. Bye for now.